everybody. Welcome back. So lately we have been busy updating and rearranging our entire office. And the last thing that we had to do was paint our DIY studio. We decided to paint a pattern on this wall which can be kind of intimidating and pricey. So we're going to show you a few ways to save money and a few tricks to help you paint a perfect line every time. So we're just using some basic paint supplies. A paint tray, a couple size rollers, a paint stick, brush for cutting, a can of new white paint, and the existing wall color paint. We're also going to need a sponge, a pair of gloves, some blue edge lock tape, a box cutter, a pencil, a pair of scissors, and a ruler. Alright, let's get started. Since the chevron pattern fits in a perfect square, I measured the width of my wall, then divided that by three to get the size of our pattern. I used the ruler to draw out the pattern, then Sharon and I taped along those lines. When we were done taping off the pattern, Grayson used a box knife and a ruler to cut the excess tape to create the perfect points. Now even though we're using blue edge lock tape and it's supposed to stop the paint from seeping under, sometimes it's not perfect and the paint will still find its way under the tape. So it's a good idea to paint a thin coat along the blue tape with your existing wall color. That way if any bleeding happens, it goes under the tape or when you pull it off, you won't see it. In an effort to save money and only buy one new can of paint, we're going to use our existing wall color behind the pattern. We let that dry for about 30 minutes and then began painting the wall white. Since this gray color is pretty dark, we're going to need to do two coats of white paint. We didn't want the paint to dry before taking off the tape, so we made sure to remove it before our second coat dried to prevent peeling. Now, we could have just left this perfect chevron wall just like this, but we felt it was a little too contrasty for our background. So, I decided to knock it back a little by adding some of the same white paint on top of that gray. So my first attempt, I tried kind of a circular pattern, and Sharon and I agreed that was pretty bad. It was not cute. But then I tried more of a vertical stripe paint, and it looked pretty good. If you guys like it better with this vertical texture I added, or without. If you guys like this type of painting DIY, leave us your opinion in the comments below. And come back next week because we're going to have an awesome Super Bowl DIY. Go on. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe.